to introduce myself, I'm Leanne Allegretto. I'm a meteorologist here at the Weather Service in Missoula. And I've been looking at this storm for probably a week, week and a half now, because it's, it's surprisingly held up fairly well. And um, whenever that happens, we end up we end up with much greater confidence. So the reason we've gathered all of you guys here together today is to kind of go over the impacts, what we're expecting, amounts, timing, you know, and uh, basically what the week holds for the different areas of western Montana and north central Idaho and what you can expect go in the days going forward. So... All that being said, let's get going. So where, what's the setup that has led us to this? Uh, right here, this graphic is basically our moisture source. So it's coming out of the Pacific, basically a straight shot straight into the Pacific Northwest and over western Montana. Um, quite a bit of water is, is in this fetch. So that's going to be the moisture source that we're tapping into to give us this onslaught of snow for a pro prolonged period of time. At the same time, uh, with that moisture, we are seeing some warmer air of, around and south of I-90. It's kind of creeping around the area, in, in generally speaking so, so we're seeing freezing rain this morning. Some places have stayed warm enough to see just rain, and some valleys have held on to cold air long enough to see snow. So it's kind of a mixed bag today through tomorrow, but the cold air will be sinking south out of Alberta and we won't see freezing rain. We'll just see straight up snow for the whole period of time. So this is just kind of giving you guys an idea of where all of this is coming from. So this graphic here shows our going forecast in the middle graphic. On the left-hand side is snowfall amounts that at least this much will fall. On the rightmost graphic, at the most, this is how much snow will fall. So our forecast is in the middle. This basically shows uncertainty within the models. You know, since this is a living, li living, breathing, excuse me, system through the week, you know, the moisture amounts are going to vary a little bit, the temperatures, the timing, and that sort of thing. So we have shown you what we are going for for our forecast in the middle from today through Wednesday. Um, on the low end, we'll at least get that much. On the high end, that that's like the worst case scenario, how much snow we're expecting. So right there in the middle is what we're going for. That being said, there is there's there's some timing issues with wind that will kind of play into this entire scenario. The cold air that's coming down out of Canada will impact northwest Montana the most for the most prolonged period of time. So that's why there's really high amounts there in both the high terrain and in the valleys. At the same time, we're going to transition to easterly winds, which will add the element of blowing snow and rapidly dropping temperatures as well. And that should be, you know, around Tuesday morning through Wednesday. And then by the time the cold air gets down to Missoula, it'll be around Wednesday morning into Thursday. Um, so in between there, the boundary is going to get kind of hung up right around I-90. So the cold air is going to remain, the coldest air, I should say, will remain north of there and, um, uh, if that boundary should vary, you know, even by 50 to 100 miles, obviously these snow amounts are going to change, but we feel fairly confident in what we're showing here, you know, in our current forecast between now and Wednesday. So this, keep this in mind, this is the first round of snowfall. I'll be bringing up a second round that's coming later in the week. So um, a lot of this is going to start tonight, but most of it will start Tuesday and last through the day Wednesday by the time it's all said and done. So this might explain it a little better. The two graphics I show here are the percent probability of 6 inches falling and 12 inches falling. So on the left-hand side, you can see that our percent is really high. So the places where it's, you know, like a greater than 50 percent, all, all across northwest Montana, even down into the Sealy Lake area and across the Clearwater Mountains of north central Idaho, you have a really high chance of seeing at least 6 inches of snow or more. Of course, if you look to the right-hand graphic, the percent chance of at least 12 inches or more of snow is still extremely high in places like West Glacier, you know, the, the terrain around Marias Pass and Essex, Yak, Libby, it's a little bit lower because you're in the valley, but, you know, down into to Happy's Inn and, and Lookout Pass. So the, the main theme here is that the mountains are going to just see a continuous stream of heavy, dense snowfall. Um, from now through the 20th. So this should paint a better picture, I would say, of our confidence of what is expected, you know, at 
in the valleys versus um, the terrain and probability of six inches or more or 12 inches. So it's pretty good. I would say it's looking pretty good for you guys up in northwest and along uh, north central Idaho for sure. So I mentioned a late period, like late week period of snow, and this is a surprising little bonus, I would say, for snowfall, because um, right now we don't have in our forecast models we don't show amounts yet, but we're we're in the early stages of figuring that out. But it looks like a really great snow producer for um, basically all of west central Montana or western Montana and north central Idaho. And that includes valleys. So what is it? It's widespread light to moderate snowfall in valleys with additional continuous heavy snow above 4,000 feet. This round, though, will have very strong easterly winds as the secondary push of cold air out of Canada makes its way into, the, uh, into western Montana and central Idaho. So what we're highlighting here late Thursday through Friday isn't just snow, but the fact that wind chills will now become a much more noticeable presence in this forecast. You know, we're, we're expecting 30 miles per hour sustained out of the east, gusting to 40 in the flathead through, um, you know, the, the typical gaps up there in uh, Bad Rock Canyon and, and the like. And then down in Missoula through Hellgate Canyon into the Ovando region, that sort of area, 25, gusts to, 25 miles an hour sustained gusts to 35. So, I mean, in addition to blowing snow issues, um, visibility issues for driving. There's also going to be the wind chill factor as well. The good thing is, is I, I think schools are letting out before then, um, although they'll have their issues during the midweek time, at least I think by Friday we'll be transitioning into the holiday period of time off, so we won't have too many issues with kids waiting outside for the bus or anything. But there, and, and like I said, where it's just about everywhere, and the models are not picking up on the type of precipitation, you know, the amounts that we would expect with a system like this. So it's still an evolving scenario, but we are expecting it to be a pretty good, efficient snow producing system. And so in addition to what was already shown in the previous slides, valleys could pick up another two to three, even four to six inches during that time period. And then by Saturday, we're out of it. But this is what we're into. Bitterly cold. Uh, that Canadian air is not going anywhere, and it is going to settle into areas that have fresh snowfall and clear skies at night, which will cause our low temperatures, basically waking up on Saturday to be in the negatives for many locations, especially the, the typical spots along the Continental Divide. Um, the valleys over in Idaho, such as Elk City and Dixie, that are always cold. They're going to be quite cold. Even Grangeville's, you know, too below. So very cold morning lows, and that will last through Sunday into Monday. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the high temperatures aren't much better. We're struggling to get out of the single digits in many areas into the low teens, around 10, 10 degrees in Kalispell. Not much better in Libby. So just to give you an idea, that's the trend for the weekend, and including Christmas and the day after Christmas, Monday. So it's not really going anywhere. We may hold on to some winds. We're still working that out. So there will be, I mean, obviously a, a three mile an hour wind will give you a wind chill in the negative. So even if you're outside, it's going to feel just bitterly cold. But if there's a wind chill issue, we'll, we'll be sure to, to highlight that as time comes. So we'll have to take a look at how long those winds are going to stick around. But yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of parts to all of this. And um, hopefully I've covered many of the, the, hard hitting points here. If you have any additional questions, please let me know. Please call us afterwards. View the presentation again after the fact once we once we post it. But um, hopefully I've covered everything. Please let me know. Um, I'll open it up to questions now.